didn't make a video last week for South Alabama because I knew we were going to win. Um, just didn't really feel like making one. I mean, like I said, it's South Alabama. Um, Tennessee wins the game yesterday, 31-24. I mean, it could be worse. Could have lost. Could have, or we could have got fired like Lane Kiffin. <laughs> Wake up this morning and see the news that old buddy, old pal Lane Kiffin got fired. That's exactly what he deserves. Treat it, treat program a program like that and put them in, put us in the dump, run the recruits off to go get your dream job. Dream job? Well, how's that dream job treating you now? They fired you, which is exactly what you deserved. But anyways, enough of that. I'm not going to run, run uh, talk too much about this game yesterday. That game, it is what it is. Um, we know what we have to work on here at Tennessee. Um, I think everything. I think it's all correctable. Worley still can't make the throws, but defense made the stop when they had to. I mean, I look back at that game, and I think – I'm not – yeah, the South Alabama, West Kentucky are some about teams, but – the Western Kentucky game would have been a lot closer had we not got them seven turnovers, and that's really what's helping our football team right now is all these turnovers. If we could quit making all, if we could quit giving the ball back to the other team after we take a turnover, we'll be all right. Um, it's, UT fans just sometimes drive me nuts. I'm walking out of the stadium yesterday, and I actually hear fans saying that they wanted us to lose that game so we would fire Butch Jones. Lose the game. I wanted to turn around and say, hey, you dummy. No. And I wanted to smack him. I mean, how stupid can you get? It's game number five of year one. Oh, God. But anyways, um, we got the win. And that's really, we're three and two. That's all you can ask for. Um, as long as we're improving each week. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, I mean, sure, I would like to win the games, but I know, I know if we keep playing good, we're gonna win games. And anyways, it's on to Georgia week. Georgia Bulldogs coming up to Neyland Stadium on Saturday night, and we got Georgia fans on here after can't make a video for two weeks previous, and then jump up on here. I, I'm serious. CBS coverage had not even went off yet. And I see a video from a Georgia fan running their mouth. You ain't got time to make a video the two weeks before, and then you're going to jump up on here and say, I don't care. We won. Go dogs. No. But I'm not going to get too much on Georgia right now. The time will come a little bit next week. But y'all better hope y'all y'all better hope y'all ain't overlooking Tennessee. You better hope you better hope you strap on your helmets tight come Saturday night in a ruckus Neyland Stadium. It's gonna be sold out. But you better hope you better hope that you play for 60 minutes because if you don't, we're gonna beat you. And then what do we see? Mark Richt up on the television crying. Georgia celebrating like they won a national title. Oh wow, you beat you beat your second ranked team this year. Give me a break. Give me a break. If y'all if y'all are gonna be a national title, you gotta win them week in and week out. And that is yet to be unproven. You won two. Congratulations. But anyways, see y'all next week. Go Vols.